Your priorities should be security, housing, food, and water in that order. Without housing and food, new immigrants will not move into your city. Rome now wishes your city to grow food. Build a farm on fertile land. Look for the yellow tufts that indicate this. Connect it to housing with a path. If the housing is too far away, the farm will not get access to labor. Build a granary near to the farm and make sure that it too has access to labor. When the wheat is ripe, a cart will carry it to the granary. Gradually, the granary will fill up. The fewer empty windows you can see, the fuller the granary is. All right, welcome back to Caesar 3. We're here on mission number two, Brundisium, feeding the populace. And uh, looks like we're gonna get a bunch of people and build a granary, fill it with wheat. So let's get things started here. Ah, uh, so welcome to mission number two and our replay through Caesar 3. Let's clear up some land here. Uh, so we are not gonna be repeating block designs throughout this playthrough. So this is where I'm going to use the 9x9, nine nine, the, the famous 9x9, nine nine, of course. So let's just go ahead and get this block design out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That seems correct, yes. And we're gonna have a road come out this way. And we're gonna have a couple of houses here. And we are now, I'm also gonna have few houses here for future planning on the outside of the block and we're gonna put down the granary right here this is going to be the road coming out like that that looks good and the first things first we're gonna do here is get three farms one two three we'll bring more people into the place here and let's make sure things do not burn to the ground prefecture prefecture We'll have a... We'll have another prefecture there, and two engineer's posts should do. All right, there we go. Ah. So, of course, this time around in this playthrough, we are doing it live on Twitch. Uh, so, if you have any questions, ask in chat. If you're watching this on YouTube, ask down below, or join the Discord over at discord.gg slash where we have a city building channel. You can ask the community of how things go. And... Let's get some wells going, shall we? Oh well, oh well, oh well. Let's do that and that. Not like those houses will evolve anytime soon. Now this mission, now this mission, uh, there's there's a population sort of, not necessarily a bug, but it, it's sort of, I think, unintended, where between the population of 200 and 500, people just hate you. They just hate you with all their hearts and they move out of the city. So there's a few things we might be able to do to compensate for that. It's it's called the, the immigration, immigration barrier or immigration limit or something. And it only happens on very hard difficulty. So we, we'll see if we can get around that. Otherwise, the way around it is to drop the difficulty. It's not a bug, it's intended behavior at very hard. Thank you, Sajuk, for clarifying. Um, so we'll see if we can get around that. But right now, we don't have access to our advisors, so we can't do things like increase wages, lower taxes, all of that. So we'll see how things go. First things first, we gotta get food filling up this granary. Ah, it's good to be back in Caesar 3, right? Especially these early missions. You don't have to stress. We're just chilling, hanging out, got my coffee. Mm. Providing water. Uh, here I get to show one of the secrets of the games, which even I didn't know. Playing for years, playing through the, the campaign, look at this. If you click and hold a reservoir... Look at that. It's, it's not the most efficient way of moving the reservoir around, but look at that. Clicking and holding the reservoir auto-drags an aqueduct. But we can't do that quite yet because uh, it's gonna block off the road to Rome, so we're gonna have to have that road do that, and then put the reservoir. Look at that. It auto-creates the aqueduct. 
So now we can get some fountains down. This is a 9x9, nine nine, so we're gonna need a fountain there and a fountain here. We can now get rid of the wells. Do we have access to advisors yet? Nope, not yet. But we do need a fountain here as well, so let's get that going, do that. We can have another couple houses there. So when we hit 200 population, people should just automatically start moving out. And you can see why 9x9 nine nine is a default block. The water reaches 9x9. Nine nine. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you guys didn't know about that. I didn't know about that. I didn't know about that. Look at that. I would have put that in my 10 basic tips and tricks, but... I didn't know about it. It's, it's like a secret. It's not... I don't think it's explained anywhere. I, I don't even know if it's in the help files. It might be, but I really don't know. Don't forget the gods. I didn't... I forgot the gods, didn't I? Um, series. Uh, Neptune. Mercury. Uh, there's fine. Mars. There we go. We crossed 200 population and they're now unhappy. Look at that, look at that. This does happen. This happens on very hard. Sajuk says it's an intended thing. Venus. Uh, let's put it in there. Yep. So we can't get around that quite yet, I think. So we're gonna be stuck at 200 people. People will move out until 200, and then they'll start moving back in. Pharaoh himself asked, did I find out by accident what the, the aqueduct thing? The aqueduct thing, uh, someone commented on, on YouTube. Uh, even, like he said, even experts of the game does not know about the reservoir click and drag. Ah. Uh. Gorbin Hagen says this playthrough is going to be much more interesting now that you start with the knowledge of warehouse getting. Yeah, when I played the game the first time around, I did not know about warehouse getting. So there we go, population's now below. We can start feeding these houses though. Let's go ahead and get a market square going up here. Two markets should do. Employees needed, yep. Uh, it's going to be tricky getting enough employees in here with... Uh, people moving out. You can see once it drops below 200, people start moving back in. But let's let's feed people. We, these, these early missions sort of have timed events where they unlock new buildings. We could put a senate down. Look at that, I spaced it perfectly. <laughs> uh, but and just as we cross 200, people are disgruntled. See that? And when it hits about 250, they, they just move out again. So I guess I will put down... I can't check my employment right now. I guess I put down the Senate. The reason why people are disgruntled is because of like how the math works between employment and unemployment and all of that. So because of the, the awkwardness of it, see that they're now moving out again. Uh, but we can try and get our way past this. Still don't have the advisors yet. But we are feeding the people, so that's good. Plenty of food to go around. Farms are now going. Does Caesar 3 have roadblocks? Asks Flizzy Duck. Only in the form of gatehouses. So we do not have roadblocks until we get gatehouses. That's uh, But gatehouses is sort of like a really ugly way of dealing with it, right? You don't need them if you know what you're doing. You don't need them. So population's back up. People are gonna move out. And this is gonna ri rinse and repeat for a while. <laughs> it's a tricky situation. I'm just waiting for... Uh, more things do eventually um, unlock. Let me just review my assignment here. It does show... Yeah, immediate goal, grow your population to 250. So, Sajuk, can you tell me if there's a way to get through this? Because this is where things get really tricky. This is mission two on Very Hard. And you can see, we cannot hit 250 people. Like, we could try. We could try. If I put down more houses here, when it drops below 200, people will start moving back in. I can speed things up again. See if we can get it up to 250. There we go. Did it. Okay, now we can build even more buildings. Uh-huh. Gardens. All of that. Okay, let's slow things down again. 
so that's gonna... Do we have advisors? We have advisors. Let's go ahead and raise wages, lower taxes, see if we can get people really happy here. All that looks fine for now. Let's get all these buildings in. Uh, what do these need to... They need a theater, right? Let's get a theater down and an actor colony. That should work. City needs more workers, so we have to kind of try and break through this disgruntled people thing. <laughs> and I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, you can get through the limitation, but it takes time as you need to increase city sentiment, which is very tricky. It's very tricky getting that to work. So I suppose if, if we let it run, like at max speed here, so see people are moving out. Is it an employment thing? Uh, it might be an employment thing as people move in and out. I'm not going to prioritize... I should prioritize water though. Water services priority one. Make sure fountains always stay on. So here people are going to move back in. We have plenty of money, so we'll garden up this area in the standard 9x9 uh, nine nine design here. People disgruntled. So yeah, breaking through this is very tricky. What is our immediate goal here? Grow your population to 450. So yeah, uh, can we build anything else? Theater, actor colony. We could provide schools, I guess. There we go. Have a school. And if we let it run, people move back out. Jeez, this is this is this is the bug that people get really stuck on. <laughs> we could put down a bathhouse. And I don't know if we can actually get the population to jump up to 450. So it reaches about 260 and then drops back down. Yeah, I don't even know if it's possible to do this in, in very hard. So, because this, this, uh, this being a tutorial mission, I'm pretty sure this is not intended design. And in, not intended design tends to be a bug. <laughs> it's not technically a bug, it's intended in the big grand scheme of things, but it's kind of like per Wajit in Pharaoh, where um, on higher difficulties, the entertainment requirements change once the Cleopatra expansion was added on, so it, it's sort of, you know. So if you want to get around this, I'm going to show this. If you drop difficulty and let things run, I think this can work on hard. See, people start moving back in. Four fifty. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Uh, money, we get taxes, and then more bigger houses, industry, clay, pottery. Okay. And now people have moved in. Let's just get it up to five hundred. Once it reaches five hundred, it's safe to then increase the difficulty again. And people shouldn't be disgruntled at this point. It, it's a percentage thing, working with the percentage of the population and all of that. So now we have unemployment. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna need a road to come down this way. That's an ugly way to do a road, let's not do that. Let's move the fountain back instead, shall we? So we'll have the road do this, and do come up this way, so that we can do this. Have a single road, we'll break that chain right there, break the chain right there, and we can put a Oh, I, I love how I'm redoing these missions with this knowledge. I can now watch this. Put a warehouse here. Put a warehouse. Uh, here. And I'm going to go ahead and put raw materials. Clay pit, clay pit. Workshop, pottery. Uh, one, two, three. Four. That looks good. Let's go ahead and put prefectures, engineering's post, and we also could get a forum because why not? We'll leave that little gap right there. Make sure we don't block that path there. So this warehouse, look at this. I love starting up the campaign again with this knowledge. This is going to be set to accepting pottery. This one here is going to be set to getting pottery. And 
when pottery is stored up here, this one, even without a road connection, can just walk on over, grab the pottery, bring it back here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. As opposed to last time was hardy party lemon squarzy. <laughs> uh, Cronus1201 says, On very hard you need the Venus blessing, high wages, and a festival, and people will start coming 100%. New player would never know that, so there's no way they could win. Yeah. So that's why having very hard on the difficulty... I mean, can you, can you throw festivals? You could get Venus's blessing, but it, you see, it's like a lot of resources to go into getting to 500 population. It doesn't seem intended, right? It doesn't seem intended. Anyway, here we go. Fire and damage all looking okay. Water's looking great, all that. Ah, oh, this... This doesn't look good, does it? How do I make this look good? I, I do want to make things look good this time around. We could just garden up. I do not want to garden up there. Do we have statues? We do not have statues. I guess I'll just garden up there. You don't want gardens connecting up roads because technically gardens can act as roads, so you don't want that happening. <laughs> so now we just wait for pottery to come in. We have 2% unemployment, so that's fine. We can start taxing people again. We don't need that much. Uh, no, we'll, we'll tax people 6%. We can drop wage rates again. Because it seems like doing that didn't get us past uh, the, the immigration problem. <laughs> Uh, Sajuk says, new challenge when statues become available, don't use gardens for desirability. The gardens in Caesar 3, I do have to say, are re relatively ugly. They're relatively ugly, and... Wow. Do you guys see the view account? Do you guys see the view account? It just hit 100 viewers. Welcome to the stream, all 100 of you. Live, I have not hit 100 viewers since the launch of Civilization 6, where I got 300... No, I got 600 something. Caesar 3. I think you guys want to see Caesar 3. <laughs> Let's play through the whole campaign again. This is great. This is great. We're just letting pottery come in here. Trade with the Empire. Ah, uh, yes. Let's do, get some trading going. What do we have here? We are here. Brundisium. That's a Roman city. This is... Uh, they buy and sell. 400 denarii. We're gonna have to open that for sure. Visit advisor. Pottery. Let's export goods when it is over... 8. Right? And this warehouse should start sending out a cart pusher to grab this pottery and bring it on over. We're actually really low on money, so <laughs> we gotta be careful about this. Uh, but I'm gonna bring the pottery over this side. Desirability is an issue here. That should solve that desirability problem. More people are coming in. We're gonna run out of money. We won. With four denarii. I didn't even get to evolve my houses. You guys didn't even get to see the pottery being brought over. I think the card push is going there somewhere. I can't even continue the mission. Well, we won. We're too good at the game. Or it's just mission two. <laughs> Let's go ahead and accept promotion. You learn quickly. You now have the skills to complete a real assignment. From now on, you can choose your career's direction. Take the more peaceful province to concentrate on governing, or the more dangerous one to confront Rome's enemies. Well, all right, that is the end of mission number two. We're gonna head on straight into mission number three now. If you're watching this on YouTube, just click the button, which should be above my head somewhere there, which will bring you on to the next mission. I uh, hope you guys are having fun. Clerk and Lord Peck Alert vs Super Sajuk MG Frag, Zerardor Da Scrooge, Hyena Cupcake 12, Pai Pu Pui U C S, Cha Ching 888, BLXZ182. Thank you all so much for joining. We're gonna be right back.